questions. All right. First of all, C.B. McGrath's last name is M.C., capital G-R-A-T-H. You, you do the research, you'll know what it is. Profile, didn't spell his name properly. Uh, and that does bother me, but that's okay. Uh, we were too big for them inside, and then yet in the second half, they scored more points off offensive rebounds than we did. I wasn't pleased with that. You look at there, and you got 20, 18, and 18. Three guys, 18 and 20, three guys in double figures on rebounds as well. We got to get more out of Andrew. We got to get more out of Christian. We got to get more out of Leakey. Uh, they're worried about Armando with the concussion. Uh, needless to say, we'd like him to play more than two minutes and 41 seconds. We're pretty thin as it is anyway, uh, so that bothered us. But uh, uh, CB's got a guy, it's a bunch of guys that can shoot the ball, and today it just didn't go in for him. Skaggs uh, is scary as all get out when you watch him. I watched him in warm ups today, and he made 11 out of 11 in one stretch. And then the game started, he was 0 for 7. So we were very fortunate that he missed some shots that he normally makes. But uh, I thought uh, for us, Cole was really good attacking. Uh, and again, Justin gave us a break. I mean, gave us some good moments shooting the ball. I was not pleased, needless to say, with our free throws. Cole's 2 for 7, Justin 0 for 4. Those kind of things usually allow you to get beat in a close game. But, uh, you know, it's, it's another game. And I think CB's club in the second half, uh, during one stretch, they missed about four in a row, and all of a sudden it goes from a 12 or 13 point game to 19 or 20, and that was that was basically it. Questions? Enjoy, uh, you know, Garrison and Justin, like you mentioned, gave you some good points. Is this kind of what you expect of them to to score this amount of points? Uh, for you? Well, I expect Garrison to. You know, Justin, he's having a difficult time because he's playing the three sum and the four sum. It's more difficult for him, but. Uh, uh, I do like the fact that they have 12 rebounds and 12 rebounds. I like that a heck of a lot better than the scoring. Uh, but Garrison, if you look at that, uh, he was five for nine. He was the only one that shot free throws well at eight for 10. So, uh, but yeah, we need more scoring. We've got to get more scoring out of Romando too. Coach, you didn't come, I'm sorry, he didn't come back. You mentioned he was being looked at for a concussion. Any update? Yeah. Or? No. That's the update. That's, that's what I said there. <laughs> Looking at him for a concussion, that's what they think, and he'll – have to wait and see what it is. What does a game like this mean to be able to bring your team down to Wilmington for CB? Well, he's uh, one of my favorite people in the world. He played for me. He uh, coached with me. And uh, uh, I think the world of him and Chris, his entire family. And it's uh, if it weren't for him, I wouldn't be here, that's for sure. Uh, but uh, I think that he's got a club that he has out there. It's got a lot of shooters. And there's going to be games that can beat anybody. But again, their shots didn't go in today. Roy Hunt. Have you ever been in a situation where you had this few players available, especially this early in the season? And nope. How concerned are you long term that this could be something you have to deal with all season? Well, I think it is going to be something we have to deal with all season, and it concerns us a great deal. But you know, they they, they don't let uh, go out and draft, and there's no list that we can take anybody off the waiver list. It's who we have. Uh, seven and eight. I've always liked to play nine or ten. Uh, Huff gave us a couple of good minutes out there today. It's just hard to get Huff in the game when everybody on the other team is a three-point shooter. And uh, But Huff gave us a couple of good rebounds and things like that as well. But uh, uh, we'd like to get some of those other guys back. I think more than likely Anthony Harris will be the first one of those guys to, to get back for us. And he's a freshman, so we don't know what he's going to do. But we'd like to get him back as soon as we could, too. So you Rob not close? Uh, I should have should have said that about Anthony with B Rob. B Rob, I don't know. He he got off the cute little scooter pretty quick and got out of the boot today. And uh, uh, you know we're thinking probably down around Nassau time, but hopefully something else earlier. Just have to wait and see. How much more magnified is the need for production from Andrew and some of the other guys because it's such a well? Short you saw it right there, guys. We're not a very good basketball team. We've only got three guys that can make a shot. Has Huffman progressed enough to get consistent minutes? No. I mean, he played today because Armando was in. Armando played better, but Huff's going to get some chances. But I, I don't, guys, I don't have a plan. I don't say 12 minutes for this guy, 13. You know, if you play and you do things well, you get to play more. And if you don't do things well, you don't get to play as much. Well, you may have mentioned this, but with, with Cole getting 24 shots tonight after 28 the other night, is that volume of shots going to be needed? I think it was 24 both, both games. Okay. Yeah. Both games. I don't, I don't care. Yeah. I've never cared about how many shots anybody was taking as long as they're good shots. The other day it was, uh, what was it, 11 for 24? 12. 12. So if he's going to make 50% of them, hell, he can shoot 50. 
you know, that'll help our team. So. What did Justin have tonight that he didn't? He was lacking on Wednesday. Uh, I don't know what he had on the floor, but I don't know what he had on the free throw line either. You know, that kind of thing. Because it would really have been something in the first half if we could have made some free throws. But Justin's had good moments in practice. He really has. And uh, he's had some good days. And I think that uh, there's a reason we recruited him. We needed a player in that position. And I think he's uh, getting better, getting more relaxed out there. He was. I don't know what his problem was, again, at the free throw line, but he can rebound the ball and do some things. And it's more difficult for him than anybody else because he's crossing the line between a, a post player or a wing player, and that's that's difficult to do. Take, yeah, one coach, coach, take coach, last can, one for Coach. Coach, can you tell us what you saw out of Kai Taves in year two? I know you saw him last year, but can you tell us what you see? He's just a great quarterback out there. He's looking for his guys, and, you know, he, he hadn't made any threes in the exhibition game or in the opening game, but he made two against us today, so I didn't like that. But uh, – uh, he's one of the better passers, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, you guys, I think he was second in the nation in the number of assists last year. That's pretty good. Second and uh, so I think that one thing when you have that, uh, you've got a, guys that like to play with him because they're looking for him to throw the ball to them. Jonathan, last one. I just don't, I don't want to assume, but why have you historically like to play, go nine and ten deep? Is it for this reason? It's pretty easy because you're going to have guys that get in foul trouble. You're going to have guys that get colds. You're going to have guys that sprain their ankle, that kind of thing. And it's if. And I can play eight, nine easily, and sometimes even ten enough, give them enough minutes, enough playing time that they're satisfied with it. But you got to have depth in this game. As Thanks, guys.